I'll show you nine different ways to do this. And as a side note, before I get started, all the links, all the tutorials, all the resources and things like that will be in a show notes page for you that you can find in the video description or on selfmadesuccess.com under the title of this video. So don't worry about trying to memorize all this stuff right now, all the links and things like that. The first way to make money without selling anything is YouTube and other video channels. So there's a few different places you could start a video channel. One is YouTube, obviously, second biggest website in the entire world in terms of traffic now. There's also Daily Motion, which is kind of a distant cousin of YouTube. It's very similar, but it's just not as much traffic as YouTube. There's also Vimeo. There's also there's a site called Rumble or something like that. There's Twitch.tv, which is for gaming channels. There's a few different places that you can post videos. Mainly, I'm going to focus on YouTube and Daily Motion in this video because they both get lots of traffic and they're kind of similar in how you make money from them without having to sell anything. The others, like Vimeo, you have to sell paid video content in most cases because they got rid of any other features that you could really make money from. Also, Twitch.tv, people may pay a subscription to watch you on uh, Twitch. So in a way you're kind of selling people on subscribing to your channel and paying a monthly fee. So I wasn't sure Twitch would really fit in this video. YouTube allows you to make money from ads. So you see this ad right here for a phone. Um, when you go to pretty much any video you're gonna find ads especially on big channels that have people who make a living from this kind of stuff have um, people like PewDiePie who make millions of dollars from videos, you have um, business videos, you have entertainment videos, tutorial videos, you can make money through ads. So ads are enabled on your video channel by going to your creator studio which is basically your, your channel settings and then you go down to channel you see your page you have dashboard video manager live streaming all that you go to channel then go to monetization right here and it will give you an account status under status and features basically telling you if you have a good standing with YouTube and to get a good standing with YouTube you need to do videos that are you know friendly for most audiences no matter what age uh, friendly for vi for advertisements meaning you don't have a lot of uh, curse words you don't have a lot of adult content and things like that in your videos and you don't mislead people which means you have a good community standing people will dislike your videos and report you and flag your videos if you kind of lead people on and things like that in your videos and don't really um, deliver what you say you're going to deliver. So um, maybe you try to scam people or something like that. That's typically what gets you flagged on YouTube. So as long as you don't do anything um, immoral, you should be fine. If you have good standing, you can monetize your channel, which means you can put ads on your channel. So you have like little commercials on your videos and that's what makes you money. You don't have to sell anything. People see those ads and you get paid. So YouTube's great for that. Daily Motion's also great for this. So you can start a Daily Motion channel uploading your video in the top right corner much like you would on YouTube. Um, with YouTube you need a Gmail account. With Daily Motion you just sign up with your email and password. And once you do that you can upload videos much like you do with YouTube add a title, description, all that stuff. And they also have video monetization. You can have um, monetization directly on videos like you do on YouTube with ads. Um, you can also have paid content which you're kind of selling so I'm not going to cover that right now. Website monetization, basically you can embed your videos 
on your website and make money from that from ads so that's kind of another way that you could monetize without selling through daily motion just keep in mind that daily motion of course is not near as popular as YouTube but it can make you a lot of extra money what I recommend is just uploading your YouTube videos to daily motion I wouldn't make specific content just for daily motion okay it's kind of like a just a little extra money per month kind of channel and then YouTube is something you can actually live off of like it gets you a lot of money Twitter also uh, Facebook has a platform they're working on where you can monetize your uploaded videos from Facebook Twitter actually has it now it's already in the making it's already done and this page I'll, sh I'll give you a link to this page in the show notes but it tells you how to set up Twitter monetization gives you a quick overview about it officially from Twitter's blog so a video channel you can monetize with ads and things like that I'll also cover a different way to monetize it here later in the video number two app referrals so app referrals are great because you're you're not selling anything because nobody pays for anything with app referrals these are free apps that people can use and you get paid just to get people to use the app so basically you might do some reviews of different apps on YouTube or on your blog or on a podcast or even on social media um, and people will click a link just any link and download the app so if people get the app and they put in your referral code or they download the app through your link then you get a referral bonus so a lot of these apps allow you to make money but you can't make a lot of money unless you really just focus on referring people so these people that you refer actually are doing all the work for you basically and making all the money for you so some of them have a flat fee that they pay you when you refer people and some of them give you a percentage of what those people make so I'll give you a list here it's called the top 10 referral programs from money-making apps and it's just a great quick little list that has um, some of the highest paying referral programs from apps that are completely free to use and people are likely to try it out more if it's a free app than of course if it's a paid app so nobody's buying anything all you do is you talk about these apps and make make sure people use your referral code or your referral link um, Ibotta Ibotta pays you ten dollars per referral checkout 51 pays you five dollars per referral boom gift pays you uh, a percentage 30% on uh, earnings of anyone you refer you get 10% on earnings with swag bucks ebates you get one friend you get ten dollars two friends is 40 three is I think is you know another ten dollars or so but um, that's just some examples of sites you might look into if you want to review apps and make money from people just trying out free apps for you another thing you can do as far as making money without selling anything is Facebook instant articles so this is kind of a new thing at least as of me making this video um, early 2017 but Facebook instant articles allows you to basically make money from writing articles like blog posts or news articles and publishing them directly on Facebook instead of sharing a link to a, another website so Facebook's always trying to keep people on their website they're trying to keep people on facebook.com they don't want people to leave therefore if you have a Facebook page you've probably noticed that when you share a link not a lot of people see it whereas if you share an uploaded video or an instant article or an image or just a text based post a lot more people see it than if there was a link because they are trying to force people to keep them on Facebook 
and give them more benefits for keeping people on Facebook. So Instant Articles is a way to get blog posts on Facebook directly. And you make money from advertisements on these articles. So kind of similar to how a, vid a YouTube video works. You upload the directly to YouTube. There's ads on it and you make money from the ads. You up you write the post directly on Facebook. You publish it on Facebook. You get money from ads on Facebook. So it's a really cool way if you're into writing and things like that, especially if you do news and stuff like that, you can set up Facebook Instant Articles. And you can do that by going to instantarticles.fb.com and you end up on this page here. If you want a, a tutorial that kind of shows you how to set it up, there's one on shoutmeloud.com. I'll have a link for you. It's called How to Add Advertisements to Facebook Instant Articles. So. You may know how to do the articles and publish them, but this shows you exactly how to actually monetize and make money from them. So that will be very helpful for you, hopefully. Number four, blog with an ad network. So if you have a WordPress blog, or even if you use, say, Blogger or Wix or another blogging platform, you can make money by having ads on there. And a few examples of uh, websites that have a lot of traffic and make a lot of money off ads entrepreneur.com you can see there's an ad right here if you go on pretty much any post um, you'll see ads at the top usually you'll see ads on the side in their sidebar there's one right there for staples there's an ad right there for staples as well and to do these types of ads there's another one um, you can have up to three ad blocks in one page um, if you're using Google AdSense, of course, and Google AdSense is the biggest platform platform for this for the most part. I'll also give you some alternatives, but another example would be TechCrunch. You can kind of look and see that they make a lot of money off ads because their top positions, which means the top of the sidebar and right here between the menu and the content, those are the prime positions for ads and they have ads there as well. So. Those two huge sites you've probably heard of make a lot of money off ads, and that's kind of what it looks like. So to do this, you want to sign up with Google AdSense. Okay, If you have a good blog, you have decent traffic, you don't have any shady stuff on there, then they will approve you, and you can put ads on your main website as well as any other website you basically create after that, uh, after you get approved with one account. So it really applies to a lot of different websites and you don't have to get approved over and over. Um, if you don't want to use AdSense and just set that up with Google, if you want to get paid in other ways, maybe you want to get paid based off of the amount of views instead of the amount of clicks on ads or you want to use a different platform or maybe you want to mix and match. There is 10 different ones that you can look at right now. A very updated list here that's always being updated on uh, Stream SEO it is called 10 Best Google AdSense Alternatives. I'll also have a link to this page for you. And it mentions Amazon Associates, which has their own ad platform now. Um, some other ones you may have heard of Chitika is a very popular one, Infolinks, Pop Ads, Media.net. Um, are some popular ones and it gives you kind of an overview and how you get paid from those but you don't have to rely solely on AdSense to make money from ads on a website. Number five is sponsored social media posts. So this is when you have a good social media following. Let's say you have uh, tens of thousands of followers and you want to make money just from basically being popular on social media. You don't want to sell anything like a product or service and you don't want to do affiliate marketing or anything like that. You just want the easiest way to make money based on your social media following. So the best way to do that um, without having to sell anything is sponsored posts. So this is basically when advertisers pay you to post on your um, social media profile or they'll pay you just to have their product in your pictures so there's a few different ways that it works it's very simple a lot of times they'll just ship if you have a certain amount of followers and they like your profile they'll approach you in many cases 
through websites like sponsored tweets and paid per tweet and you'll notice that some other celebrities are on here uh, George Lopez being one of them right there and uh, some others that have a big following but as far as just getting paid easily without doing really any work at all with social media as long as you have a lot of followers and a lot of engagement you can't have just one or the other if you have a lot of engagement and not tens of thousands of followers then it won't matter if you have a lot of followers and nobody comments or shares your post then it won't matter they want both so that gauges how valuable a post will be on your profile so sponsored tweets I prefer a little more than paid per tweet just because they kind of add more networks to it and they tell you how much you should charge or how much uh, companies will typically pay you realistically for a sponsored uh, post or you know you can just have a link on your website on a page where people can contact you if they want to send you a free sample of a product and you just have that in your images and they pay you via PayPal or something for it so an example of that would be say Kim Kardashian the Kardashians are great at making money from stuff like this her sisters are great at doing this um, other celebrities do this a lot just because you know if you're in a movie or if you have a hit song or something you instantly can get a hundred thousand followers on Instagram or other social media sites so what it would do is they would either copy a either you would just get a copy and paste post to put on social media that they give you and when you post it you get paid or they'll send you a product in many cases for free well pretty much all cases for free you get a free product and you get paid for having the product in your image so like this for example you can look it up on Google images there's a lot of examples but Kim Kardashian has some kind of uh, drug or supplement here that she just happens to have in an image and she gets paid thousands of dollars just for posting that to all her followers because she's so popular uh, another one supplements are really big into this she has supplements and um, you have say another Kardashian's uh, sister and she'll have some kind of product in there it's just very it's kind of obvious in many cases because these celebrities don't exactly try to hide it but there's another one here this guy is some kind of celebrity but uh, he actually messed it up because he posted the instructions instead of the actual post he's supposed to put in the description that the company gave him and then here's the supplement so basically it's a picture of you using the supplement and then you get paid so that's a great way to make money from your social media account number six reward programs and apps um, so I mentioned this a little bit about the ones that have referral programs but you really don't even have to do referral programs to make money from these and you don't have to sell anything so a few examples of apps I don't want to get into all of them right now I have many videos covering this already if you want to just type in apps that make money I have one right here that says 10 apps that make you money 2016 it's um, a video that covers 10 different apps that have been around that make you money don't worry it's not like any of these apps aren't around anymore they're still around so it still applies also there's another one called 15 best apps to make money from that's another one you can look at and just if you just search apps um, with my name Justin Bryant the name of my channel you will find quite a few videos that share with you different types of apps that make money from different types of things so you can make money from um, sharing stuff on social media apps you have apps that make you money from downloading and trying out free apps like feature points you have apps that pay you for a lot of different things like using the internet or playing games or taking surveys like inbox dollars 
And those are just a few examples of ones you might try out and they just pay you for different things. And in many cases, you wanna look and see if they have a referral program because if you like them, chances are someone else will and you can get paid that way as well. Number seven is you can have a donations or support us button. So you may have been on a website or a um, channel or something like that where it'd be like buy me a beer or buy me a coffee or uh, support our channel or donate or something like that. Uh, Wikipedia, for instance, is a non-profit website. They get millions and millions and millions of visitors to their website, but they don't sell anything and they don't have ads, so they have to have donations. So the only thing is, if you're going to do donations, you can't keep the money. That's actually against the law. So PayPal kind of goes through that. They say, you know, you, you have to actually use it for a nonprofit cause if you have a donation button. Otherwise, you, need, you just need to have like a buy it now button and then change the wording. Um, an example of a YouTube channel, so I mentioned ads on YouTube channels, but you can also make money just from a support button. So, for instance, PewDiePie, one of the most popular YouTubers of all time, has a support button here. As you can see, I'll circle it for you. Um, and, you know, he has a funny comment, I want to buy a Lambo. But <laughs> some of them will say, um, you know, buy me a coffee or uh, help me make more videos or help support the channel or something and it'll just have a support button here that uh, YouTube gives you an option for creating that so you can just go to your channel settings and create that if you have good standing with your YouTube video um, or if you have a website and you want to put that in the sidebar let's say you have um, a website like this and you have a sidebar instead of doing ads um, somewhere in here in this area you could put like a button that says support us or buy me a coffee or you know something like that so a lot of times people won't donate but five or ten dollars maybe if they do it so don't expect people to you know pay your bills or anything but if you want to set up a button like that I recommend just doing a typical payment button with PayPal. You can customize the words and everything and just put that in the sidebar of your website. And here is a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to do that from PayPal's official site. So I'll have a link for that as well if you want to try doing that. Another thing you can do to make money without selling stuff is you can do free apps that have ads. So if you are someone who doesn't mind coding or using an app creation service then you can create a simple app whether it's a game whether it's a productivity app or any other type of app and you can have ads within the app so you make money from advertisements you don't have to sell people on um, buying the app just to use it which a lot of people won't do many people will only do free apps so I don't recommend that in, and also a lot of free apps have in-app purchases so you might want to avoid that because you have to get a lot into marketing and s consumer psychology and things like that if you want to make good money from that plus it takes longer to create the app when you add all these in-app purchases and stuff but as far as making money from an app that you created without selling anything ads are one of the go-to strategies for doing that and most apps that are casino related or board game related or card game related that really wouldn't make any sense to have in it purchases for are ones that will have ads so download just about any blackjack or poker or slots or solitaire or you know chess or any kind of game like that on your phone and just look and see how they make money from it. It's most likely going to be some kind of ads. And some of them even say, you know, pay this much and the ads will be gone. But you don't want to mess with that. You're not trying to sell anything. Just have ads within your app. And to set up ads within your app, then uh, you can use something like AdMob. So there's a tutorial here. I'm going to have a link for you. Um, it's on wikihow.com and it teaches you step-by-step step with images, videos, and everything 
how to set up ads within your mobile app. So when you sell ads or when you sell apps on the Google Play or App Store, you can make money from them without selling anything. And last but not least, staying on the app way of making money. Apps actually give you a lot of options for this, as you can tell. But Amazon Underground allows you to make money from your apps that you develop um, without even having ads on them. So it's completely, it has to be completely free to download. It has to have no in-app purchases, and you have to remove all ads. Those three things are not allowed in Amazon Underground apps. And once you have all that gone, it's completely free for anybody to download these apps. The way you get paid is from usage. So you might make a certain amount of money per minute that users are using your app. So it'll be like a fraction of a cent. But the more people that use it, the more it adds up and the more passive income you make from that. So this page here, I'll have a link to this, the developer.amazon.com page for Amazon Underground. It'll kind of teach you how it works, um, how the developer of the app makes money and things like that. And um, it'll kind of teach you how the income model works. But it's it makes it to where you don't have to sell anything, which is really nice. And if you're looking for examples of apps that have actually been successful with this, here are some of the top 10 on Amazon Underground that are completely free. So you have like Sonic CD, Goat Simulator, of course. You know, these Goat Simulators apparently are very popular. Farming Simulator, which is a pretty popular game on a lot of different platforms. Star Wars has gotten into this now. Of course, they're everywhere. You got Heads Up, which is a game. Jetpack Joyride, another popular game. Badland, DuckTales, Monument Valley, Space Marshals. So a lot of these you probably heard of from um, the regular iTunes store or the Google Play store. And you'll notice that they actually create a separate version where it's completely free and you can make money from it without selling anything or even having ads. So it's just another way to make money without having to worry about marketing and all that as much or selling or being good at sales. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned some things about making money without having to actually sell anything, then please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. And if there are some other strategies for doing this, making money online without selling any kind of product service or commission-based uh, product or service, then let me know. And otherwise, if you want to just let me know what you thought about the video in general, let me know that in the comments as well. I'm always looking for feedback to improve these videos.